Welcome to new phase. Today we are going to talk about rib grafting and rhinoplasty. Most of the patients are really scared when we ask when we tell them that they need a rib grafting for nose reconstruction. But you need to understand one thing. Some of the nasal reconstruction requires very strong foundation. Most of the patients usually ask me, can we take the ear cartilage? Yes, we can take ear cartilage, but for certain cases, we need good foundation. That means a stable support. For that, we require rib graft. Now, is there any other way you can avoid a rib graft? Yes, we have rib graft available in the market. That means it's called allograft, taken from some other human beings but it is removed all it is free of any kind of viruses or bacteria it is most commonly used in us and european countries so we can buy that but the problem is it's expensive so rib grafting in rhinoplasty we follow a very small incision you don't worry that you will be staying in hospital for one week breathing problem no we go through a very small incision of 1 cm, maximum 2 cm. Patient leave to home on the second post-op day. They can start the routine activities within a week's time. So rib grafting in rhinoplasty is a routine procedure. You don't have to worry that you will have pain or you will have to be in bed for a long period of time. No. So you don't worry. It is, if a doctor suggests to you that a rib graft is required, please go for it. Otherwise, what happens is that we have seen cases where they have done ear cartilage, but after two years, it comes back to the original position because it doesn't have a stable support. So if a doctor suggests rib graft, go for it. You don't worry because of our minimally invasive rib grafting technique. It is possible to do with a very small incision, a very small cut. We can take rib graft with no extra effort from your side you can leave the hospital on the second day start your work after one week so if you want to know more about rib grafting and rhinoplasty please contact us